Hello Leo, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your December 2022 mini tarot reading. I cannot believe it's the end of the year. I don't know where it went to, but I'd like to take a moment to tell you happy holidays at my house. We say Merry Christmas. So from my house to yours, Merry Christmas. May blessings rain down upon you and your family. May it be a, uh, a month of joy, bliss and ease, and may next year be all that you wished for. So let's take a look here, um, Leo, and see what is coming up for you. Goodness gracious, let's see. Uh, please remember this is a general reading. If you'd like one just about you, I've included my website down below, www.soulstarbliss.com. Or you can also book me at readingsbyjudy, J-U-D-I-E.com. And I've included that um, link down below also. And, um Please remember to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. And let's see, is there anything else that I forgot to say? No, just please, I hope your year is just full of blessings for you. So let's see what is coming for you, Leo. Wow. Um, it says, you know, when we make plans, and sometimes we laugh at ourselves. I've done this myself where, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and then time runs out. But it seems like you have had a plan like at least in the back of your mind and, and, it's, and you're going to do it. It says you're going to get messages about it. Some of the things that have kept you from doing your plan may have been finances. Something about that's changed. Okay, I don't know if you changed your way of living so you could live on that uh, income or there's a different kind of income coming in. Now, if that don't sound like a riddle, nothing does. I don't mean it to be. But there's been a change for some of you where, yes, that what you wanted to do actually is going to start. You're making those plans right now. And they are good. They're going to happen. So be creative and be, you know, th think through thoroughly. Well, I'll say that fast three times. Um, that you, you can see the vision because it looks like you can and you have. This here, perfect where it is, is remember, and I've said, try to say this for each sign. Before the end of the year, make sure you take some time to look back on everything that's transpired, what your energy was, what you were thinking, what your thoughts. Have you accomplished all those wants, wishes, and daydreams? By doing that, you're going to be able to make plans for the future, and you're going to see where you spent your time, because if you're not taking care of yourself, you can't continue to keep giving to others and let your well run dry. So make sure you are doing that. So Spirit has guided you this year, and they're, you know, they will help you with next year if you just want to do something as simple as preparedness in reverse. How did I get here? And then you're going to find, I hope, that just with the tiniest little bit of uh, attitude of gratitude, it can really change things for you. Seems like holding on to something, and I think it's staying working when you don't want to, or staying on a job you don't want to, living in a house you don't want to. Those of you that really want to let go of something and make a change, it's possible this year. The plans can be made this month for things to happen. Maybe they don't happen today, but they're going to happen. So make them real. Make them, you know, write them down. Put dates by them. Now they're goals. Oh, gosh, I've said that quite a few times today. It says that feeling of disappointment over and over and over again. Wow, you've had enough disappointment this year. A lot of hardship for some of you, it feels like. Maybe you've lost a lot of people or you've lost your job or your house or something. But it says it's gonna, something's going to turn around for you. Don't give up. Don't, don't quit wanting or wishing or manifesting. You're going to make some choices, real choices, and do them without fear. And think of what you really want and then, you know, give me a sign, universe, this is what I want. Hard part is quit looking to see if it's here yet because it's going to, or where is it? Don't question because it will show up in divine time. I feel like joy is finally yours if you're ready to accept it and open to receive it. And that's not for everybody. I just, I feel like some of you just had a really, really rough year um, with so many unexpected things, so many endings. It's time for new beginnings now. Um, if you're open to that. It says you're going to have strength you didn't even know you had. Uh, but you obviously had. You've made it to this point. Um, but don't forget who you are. It says your intuition is really strong and really good. So pay attention to that. Um, <clears throat> and trust. It says you're going to have to have some trust. And that feeling of being alone. You know, I, I, again, I keep feeling like some of you have had just a, a horrendous year of things that were not so good. But good is coming behind that. Okay, I hope you open to receive that. That feeling of being alone, like nobody cares, they don't understand. 
it's not wah, 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 you know, or cry baby me, it's, it's for real. But also it says that you can choose to change your way of thinking, okay? And open to receive. There's others around you that really want to help you, um, bless you, or, or uh, give a guiding hand. But when we get to a point where we're in this, I call it the icky mode, where, you know, nothing seems to go right, change that thought and, and things are going to change. You know what I mean? <laughs> change your thought and things will change. Picture the picture you want. I don't care if you draw it or just see it every day, because I believe what we, uh, if we, if if we want to change something, we have to do it here first, okay? And then it will change. Change the picture, and things will change. I feel like um, <clears throat> you've served others this year. A lot of you have been taking care of this one, taking care of that one, taking care of all of them, and put yourself on the back burner. And maybe it would be a good time for you to. Counsel yourself or get, if you have counsel, it says counsel could be needed, could be needed. Counsel can be a doctor, it could be a lawyer, it can be two friends talking. But it says even saying things out loud will help you get clarity on what you really want to do or accomplish. Um, those of you that are wanting to move or did move, nope, I think it's those of you that are wanting to move. It's real possible that's going to happen. I feel there's going to be some relocations with work for some of you, which makes the move easy or paid for. Those of you that are wanting to move that have to do it on your own, make sure you do your homework. You know, make sure where you're moving to that you've been there before or you, you know, um, know the work situation or the housing or something like that. Because I see a lot of movement for a lot of you, meaning moving or changing jobs. Relocation keeps coming up. But it says here, too, that <clears throat> sometimes we hold on to love and money which is energy like this. And when we do that, sometimes it can disappear. The hard part is to have trust that it, you'll have enough that it will flow and continue to flow. It says you're going to put a lot of your worries to rest <clears throat> or some of the things that are ending. I don't know if you're going to be getting a settlement or inheritance or some type of money that allows you to do... <clears throat> I mean, I don't know where the money comes from. Those were just things that popped into my, into my head. Um... It's going to allow you to do some of those wants, wishes, and daydreams you've been talking about doing for a really long time. New beginnings, definitely possible. Beginning of a journey, beginning of a love. And some of that could be, you know, a, a spiritual journey. Some of it could be a real journey. Some of it could be even changing the way you think about things. I'm really excited for you because so much is, seems to be going on here. It's very energetic. And a lot, it's not chaos. It's like, okay, the time is now. Let's get this going. Let's get this, get our ducks in a row so we can move forward. Definite travel this month for you. And I don't know if that's across the street, across town, or across the country, but it's going to inspire you to, to do some of those dreams that you put aside. And you're going to do them really well. Really, really well. You're going to have miracle time. I know I've probably sound like a broken record. I think I've said it several times today. I believe in miracles, and this is a month for miracles to see them happen. Um, so open to receive those, and do the best you can. There's going to be families gathering, and, and, and where there was sadness, don't feel guilty for laughing. Don't feel guilty to have a holiday where everybody's happy. Yes, it's hard to do a holiday after the, you know, like the matriarch is gone, or someone very close, or even just, you know, whoever it is, do your best to move forward. Um, with the holiday because it's okay to laugh. It's okay to put up a Christmas tree. It's okay to have presents. Um, and with that said, I hope that you end this year with joy, bliss, and ease, and may your next year be filled with love for you and your entire family. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thank you so much for watching my videos this year, and I'll see you again next year.